Okay, here's a quick tutorial on object origins and applied rotations because it's a little bit tricky this subject and it doesn't seem too important at the outset but if you're a new Blender user these are the kind of tools you really need for really doing a lot of work in Blender. So the origin, I've mentioned the origin before and I'm going to show you another reason for using it. So in yes, yesterday I posted a video how you could move this origin to a particular point. I'll just do it again. So I'll get vertex select mode like that and I'll grab that vert that vertex like that and I will press shift S and move the selection my cursor to the selected and then I come down here object and I'll transform the origin to the 3D cursor. So, and the way you can verify that is that now there's the origin of the object. So now that when I rotate it, say on the Y axis by pressing RY, and it rotates around that origin point. That's a really great way to do it. it you could also do it visually. You can go into edit mode, and I could press AA to make sure all of them are selected. And then by moving this, you can see the origin is staying where I'll go into ortho so there's the origin down there so I can move the origin doesn't even have to be in the object like that and then I leave edit mode there's my origin of the object way down here All right. so then I press RYY I mean RY and it rotates around that point like that alright so that's really useful right, I'm going to control C this though for a second so let's move it so it's pretty much near the bottom of it so there it is like this and one of the reasons I I'll move the origin down here is if you're doing uh, say missile effects then a lot of times when you specify a force at least in the game engine or however you're doing it you specify it along this axis but this axis here is global and here and you can also specify it in the local axis if you've seen my playlist on game engine physics and Python game engine programming tutorials then you'll understand what I mean by them by being able to specify forces along these certain axes in this case the global axis and the local axis are aligned and if I was to specify a force this way then this thing would take off in this direction but what if maybe my maybe my missile was backwards maybe it was upside down not that it's ever going to be but I'm just going to say if it is what if it's like this well then the problem is if I've specified it like this and let's say this is you know some advanced missile that's shooting still going this way against this logical orientation and if I'm specifying a force on the local axis then the problem is then the local axis in Z say if that was where I was specifying it for to go local axis in Z is pointing down but I want it to go up so that's not going to work and that's where you have to apply a rotation that's when you press control A and you apply this rotation if you look at the local axis then it reverts the local axis back to pointing here essentially it's aligned once again with the global axis all right then if I was to apply a force then this thing would go up even though it's pointing down so I can't tell you how fundamentally important using this control a is to just about everything I mean it's it's just like I use it all the time first year I started using blender I never used it didn't think it was important now I can't live without it that's how valuable it's become those are things to really consider just or even if I had a copy of this shift DX rotate this a little bit RY like that there's my local axis I could press control A and then make that my that is basically my default orientation where Y is now I mean Z is pointing up aligned with the global axis so if I apply the force this whole thing would move like there if I apply the force in the Z direction that is alright well so I hope that gives you a better feel for what this stuff's all about and the other other way I use this is let's take a look at this let's rotate this back and let's do RY 180 and there it is back on this orientation but locally now is pointed like that I'm going to press control A make it there so now it's pointed up and the reason I put the origin down here at the base like that is because you have a missile when and the missile is moving and you want to rotate the missile a little bit say this angle a lot of times what you're doing is you're applying a force in this direction you're rotating the missile maybe applying the force a little bit more in this direction but if you don't have your rotation point down here at the bottom and it's sitting at the center of the object then that missile gets looks really strange because it's kind of moving and kind of 
spinning on its own center at the same time. It doesn't work. So that's why you have to move that origin point down there. All right, well, that's enough for that. Maybe that gives just even one or two of you some insight as to why this is really important stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.